Benchmark Education Company presents Shared Reading Classics. Follow along as we read the book. Turn the page when you hear this sound. Now, let's read. The Shoemaker and the Elves Retold by Brenda Parks Illustrated by Julia Patton How can elves help a shoemaker? The Shoemaker and the Elves Retold by Brenda Parks Illustrated by Julia Patton Once upon a time, a shoemaker lived with his wife in a little village. Although the shoemaker worked hard, he could not earn enough money to make a living. One day he found that all he had left in the shop was enough leather to make one pair of shoes. That night, the shoemaker cut out the leather and set it on his workbench. Then he went to bed. The next morning, the shoemaker was amazed to find a perfect pair of shoes on his workbench. He called his wife. Wife, wife, come quick and see. Look what someone made for me. The shoes were so beautiful that a customer paid extra for them. Now the shoemaker could buy enough leather to make two pairs of shoes. That night, the shoemaker cut out the leather and set it on his workbench. The next morning, there on his bench were two perfect pairs of shoes. Once again, the shoemaker sold the beautiful shoes quickly. That night, the shoemaker cut out enough leather to make four pairs of shoes. Just as before, he set it on his workbench, ready to make the shoes the next day. Just as before, he went to bed. The next morning, just as before, there on his bench were four pairs of perfect shoes. Once again, the shoemaker sold the beautiful shoes quickly. Day after day, the shoemaker woke to find wonderful shoes on his bench. Shoes for work, shoes for play, shoes to dance the night away. Day after day, more and more people came to buy the beautiful shoes. One night, the shoemaker said to his wife, We must find out who is making the shoes. So after supper, they hid in a cupboard in the back of the store and watched. Just as the clock struck twelve, two tiny elves danced into the room. They hopped up on the bench and began to work. As they worked, they sang. We sleep by day, at night we sew. In and out our needles go. Ditch, stitch, stitching, small and neat. Lovely shoes for lucky feet. As daybreak came, the elves danced out the window and disappeared. How can we ever thank them? wondered the shoemaker. We have made a lot of money because of them. Let's make them some new clothes, said his wife. The shoemaker and his wife bought the smoothest silks and softest satins. They made the elves new suits. On New Year's Eve, they put two little sets of clothes on the bench. Then they hid in the cupboard and watched. When the little elves saw the new clothes, 
They danced and laughed and clapped their hands. They put on the clothes and twirled around. Then they danced out the window and were gone forever. The shoemaker and his wife were never poor again, but they never forgot the elves that helped them. Every New Year's Eve, they put out a new set of clothes for the elves. And every New Year's Day, the clothes are gone.